Hey everybody, it's Randy from Reefs.com. I'm here with Gabby Belargin. I'm very fortunate to uh, be with our Masna Student Scholarship undergraduate winner. Um, and Gabby's a student at uh, Roger Williams University up in Rhode Island. And uh, Gabby's going to explain a little bit about her very, very interesting project on uh, the sustainability of the aquarium trade. Welcome, Gabby. My project is um, on assessing the sustainability of each species in the marine aquarium trade through the development of a mathematical model. And so I take the productivity factors, which assess the biological, like the natural biology of an animal, and if they're susceptible to overfishing and not bouncing back if overfished, and then also rank the, the susceptibility, which means given how much fishing is occurring right now, if they are susceptible to overfishing. I take all of that data, I rank it mathematically and put it into some mathematical models, and then that spits out a vulnerability calculation, which you can see is plotted here. Green is an area where these fish are highly sustainable, they're good to go. Yellow is moderately sustainable. That a species like a blue tang would fall in here because they are have isolated populations of very high demand right now. Because of the movie too, right? Yeah, finding Dory really did not help out the blue tang in the wild. And then the red, red is the dead zone for wild caught fish, like the Bengai cardinal fish. They're found in one location. They take a really long time to develop young. And so that is why they're highly susceptible to overfishing and are now an endangered population. Um, and so the goal of this project is to have all these susceptibility rankings put and put them in an app so that consumers can look up a fish on their phone when they go into the pet store, see what the sustainability level is, and if it says, oh, Bengai cardinal fish, wild caught, unsustainable, make the decision that they are not going to buy that because they know it'll damage the natural ecosystem. That's fantastic. It'll be incredibly useful, I think, for, for people. So tell me a little bit about the, uh, your experience here at MACNA. This is your first time attending a conference like this. So yeah. what, are you, what are your thoughts? What are your impressions? Uh, my initial impression was just on how large it was and the diversity of vendors. And then yesterday, as I was giving my poster presentation, I really um, loved hearing from all the different levels of hobbyists how interested they were in my project and how excited they were to hear about this app coming out and how they all were very eager to download it once it came out, um, which made me really motivated to continue with the project to see the impact I'm having on the hobbyist community and eventually, hopefully, the reefs. That's fantastic. Well, congratulations on your award. It's obviously well-deserved. I think the future is very bright for you and uh, for us, too. All right. Thank you so much.